Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope you're all doing well out there today. I hope this week so far has been going well for you. We have reached the, the middle of the week and yeah, it's just chugging along. For some of us, we're just working hard. For the rest of us, we're getting over the last of our vacation. And for anyone with kids in New York, school is starting today. So good luck and congratulations. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to ask for your overall energy for this day. And this is going to help guide our reading so that we we just have a bit more of an understanding of whatever cards we pull out afterwards, okay? So what is your overall energy for this day, Wednesday, September 5th, 2018? And I would like to say thank you to everyone out there who's been coming to these videos, who's liking and subscribing. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading, there is a link in the description where you can go ahead and book that. And if you are interested in learning more about what else Maiden Circle does, there are some other links in the description for you to check out. So what is your overall energy today? You have inspiration. So today might be a day where you come up with some cool ideas. If you are trying to make changes in your life, if you're trying to find a way to help other people or help yourself, um, just do something different in your life. If you realize that, you know, you're, you've been doing the same thing over and over and suddenly you have an idea of how to bring some more spice into your life, today is a great day to try to Try to come up with these ideas, brainstorm things, and um, just push forward to create something new for yourself. Whatever it is that's inspiring you today, let that inspiration take hold. Whatever ideas come to you today, let them grow, let them bloom and blossom and become something bigger than you may have imagined. Even if you're not 100% sure whether or not it's possible, know that today it is. Today, anything that you can imagine and dream up it's probably possible. Any new ideas you have for your future, it is possible for you to make happen. So let that inspiration grow. Let it take hold of you and drive you today. So let's see what your aspirational energy is and guiding energy. This is going to tell us a bit more about our energy that we should reach for today. And it also can help us find a sort of a point to look at if we're able to overcome all of the challenges of the day, okay? So this will allow you to know what your most ideal outcome can be for this day. So what is our, the aspirational card for this reading for September 5th, 2018? You have the Page of Wands. Right, so whatever new thing that you're inspired to do today, or that new ideas that come to you, you're going to start figuring out how to actually make that happen, what work, what steps you need to take to actually get there and make that happen. It's time for you to lay the groundwork for whatever it is. Uh, take the steps so that you're prepared to jump into this new thing. But whatever it is, you are emotionally, mentally ready, and it is a good time for you to make those steps. Like, if this is something that you can start in a day, then I recommend that you start it now. I recommend you just, you get going, okay? There's no point in waiting anymore. It is time for you to take action on this new idea that's exciting you. Let it drive you with, in, with excitement, with enthusiasm. Let it take you along so that you're able to make things happen. Be careful that you're not jumping ahead of yourself. Like I said, lay the groundwork so that you can make this happen instead of trying to jump straight to the results, okay? So let's see what's challenging you on the physical side, what your challenge is concerning your projects, your body, your health, um, any relationships you may be in, just stuff on the physical level of your life, your physical, more mundane, earthly experience. So what, what's your challenge today concerning your physical? You have the fool. So you're not exactly sure where to go, and you may even be dealing with some fear, okay? The fool generally tells us to take a leap of faith, but since this is in your challenge position, that's what you're having trouble doing. Even though you are inspired by this new idea, and you do have something that is different, that can potentially change your life even, you're afraid to take that next step. You're afraid to move forward. There's a part of you holding you back and saying, you know what? Even, we don't know 
what the results are going to be. We don't know where this is going to lead us. So maybe we should, shouldn't do this. Maybe we should step back. Okay. So that's, what's challenging you. You're holding yourself back from making whatever change needs to be made. You don't really feel confident in yourself to make this change. You don't feel confident in yourself to create this thing that you are inspired to create. So let's see how we can overcome this challenge. How can you overcome this fear of your own intuition and inspiration, this fear of making a big change in your life and creating more than what you know now? of allowing yourself to take this leap of faith even if you don't know what the results are going to be how can you overcome that you have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles okay so this is telling you that whatever it is you're trying to make happen it's gonna it's gonna happen it's coming to fruition remember how lucky and abundant you are and remember all of the hard work that you did to get where you are and all of the hard work you're going to need to do to get to what you want with both of these nines here this is telling me that this is it's a slam dunk okay this idea that you have this new change that you're trying to make you lay that groundwork and you take that leap of faith and you will be successful you're going to get what you're going after okay you need to use your 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 creative center be creative take this take the the inspiration that is coming for you and and mold it into your ideals mold it into the dream that you've been dreaming these are also both telling you not to allow yourself to to try to go it alone entirely bring in people to help you with these projects okay you you are able to do it alone you have the strength and power and knowledge to do do most of it alone but there can be an extreme there and this is telling you that instead of doing everything alone share your gifts share your ideas and let other people help to bolster those ideas because it is going to happen for you and you you're able like i said to do a lot of it alone but you do run the risk of becoming lonely if you push too far to that extreme okay so share your gifts share your abundance know that whatever it is you're working for it's coming it is coming take that leap of faith jump into it if this has to do with a new kind of creative project you have all the energy that you need to make that happen you have all the the resources that you need to make that happen so get on it and let yourself take that leap of faith because there is love and success and abundance in your in your future for if you are able to do that so to overcome it just do it okay bring other people in like i said remember that you can't do everything alone you can do some of it alone but you're going to want to bring people in okay you're going to want to work with other people I, it almost looks like they're toasting each other she's toasting him with a bird or whatever but they are they're they're saluting each other and saying you know what we can cooperate together we can make this creative endeavor something bigger than both of us right we've worked hard and now we can share our our, our successes and we can share our attempts at success and take this path together okay so take that leap of faith work with someone if there's someone coming to you with an idea and they're like hey i know how we can we can both make a big change or start a business together are you interested let yourself be open to that okay it might be a new sort of scary thing for you but let yourself be open to that so let's see what's going on on a deeper level what's affecting you on the mental emotional or spiritual level how you're being challenged there and this will also allow us to understand maybe a little bit more about why you're afraid to take that leap of faith, why you're hesitating and holding yourself back. You have the Ace of Swords, right? So you, you might be afraid to communicate with someone, especially since this is saying so much that there is somebody else involved. You should allow yourself to be open to the involvement of another person. This is saying that you're actually afraid to communicate. You're actually afraid to reach out and talk to that person. Again, if, if there are opportunities that are coming to you, someone's coming to you with a new idea, this is telling me that you 
are hesitant to respond to that. You're hesitant to give an answer at all, whether it's for a yes or a no, but you're definitely afraid to actually say yes and allow this change to come through. Keep an eye on that fear um, and take the time to really consider any new offers that are coming to you today. Really take the time to say, you know what, these are the pros and the cons, and you probably find, considering all of this, you'll probably find that the pros outweigh the cons, but you really need to take some time to consider whatever is coming to you today and consider how how it may benefit you. Consider how it could also harm you or another person, okay? With all of this, I am getting that someone else is probably involved in this, this new idea, in this new creation, whether that's you needing to reach out and say, hey, I have an idea, will you join me on it? Or if they're coming to you and saying, hey, I got this great thing that I want to create and I need your specific skills to make it happen, I'd like to co collaborate with you, um, I'd like to make this happen. So really think about what the results of that could be. But again, like here, whether or not you, you really know what those results are going to be, it's okay to take a leap of faith. This is telling you that what's challenging you right now is that you just, you, you're not sure you want to go forward on anything. You're not sure you're ready to make a change and you're not sure you're able to communicate that properly, whether it's someone asking for your help or you asking for another person's help, you're having trouble with that, that realm of communication. So let's see how we can overcome this challenge. How can you overcome this fear of communication, this not sure about whether or not you actually want to work on this problem with another person? You have two of cups. And the five of swords. Right, so this is telling you that you are resisting working with someone else for sure and that's not really going to serve you. It's telling you to consider how how taking this difficult route is going to, to do anything for you, whether or not you're going to actually find success if you choose to work alone entirely or even to not bother taking this inspiration and running with it. That's going to lead you down a difficult path and it is telling you to consider whether or not that's worth it or whether it's just worth it as is your your what your heart is telling you to work with someone else to reach out to someone else when when it's possible when the idea strikes when the time strikes okay this is telling you that you this is the time to connect and collaborate collaborate your ideas share your share your ideas with whoever you you feel needs to whoever you feel is best to share with and allow 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 yourselves to connect allow yourselves to communicate yes you're not sure you want to and it's going to be hard but the way to overcome that is just to go for it let yourself go through the struggle of it and really think about whether it's worth it not to whether your life is worth ignoring okay because this inspiration here that we have this could change you this could change a lot for you it could change your life but you're going to have to work with other people. You're going to have to reach out. There is, like I said, a lot that you can do on your own, but whether you should do it is a completely different story. All right, you shouldn't do everything alone. You should reach out and connect because the alternative could be a struggle for you. The alternative could be suffering, not necessarily like actual long forever suffering, but just like a negative outcome if you choose to try to do everything on your own or worse ignore this inspiration that's coming to you so let's see what your energy is for the end of this day how are you going to close out this wednesday what are you going to do to close out this wednesday september 5th i'd also like to say thank you to our higher selves and our higher guides who allow us to communicate allow these messages to come through so thank you to all of those beings out there that are guiding us and guiding these cards and these messages.
Thank you to those who guide you to this video so that you can get the help that you need and the guidance and advice that you need. So how are we going to end this day? You have the Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. So with these cards, it is telling you that this choice is yours, okay? Like I said, you are capable of making, of doing a lot on your own, but you're not going to get nearly as far if you do it entirely alone, okay? Allow yourself to be able to share these ideas. Allow yourself to be able to work with other people. But that choice, it's still yours. It's still up to you whether or not you're going to end up doing it, and you have that choice to make. By the end of the day, though, these ideas are going to grow. They're going to start coming into, they're going to start seeming more real, more solid, more possible. Meditate on this situation. Meditate on these, these different ideas um, and all the possibilities that are coming for you. Really sit down and think about it. Like I said here, think about whether it's worth it to ignore this, whether it's worth it to try to do it all alone. Take some time to really consider all of the avenues and all of the possibilities where this can take you. Before you, like I said, before you jump into anything here, you can lay the groundwork, but if you are able to overcome these challenges and you really sit and you really think about about the possibilities and about what you truly desire and the work that you need to do. Make a plan, work with someone else and take that leap of faith. Communicate with other people. Choose what you desire and choose where you wanna go. Lay, again, lay that groundwork and you are going to be ready and you're going to be starting something new and it could change your life. Take it one step at a time. Okay, that's your reading for September 5th, 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Click the little bell button so that you can get notifications. Follow Maiden Circle on Facebook so that you can learn more about what Maiden Circle does. And also, if there are updates here, they're usually going to show up over there. So thank you again. And remember always that I love you. Have a beautiful day. Bye.